That's pulling now. That's pulling. Oh, that's the one I want right there. Hey y'all, just some kayak catfish on today's trip. I took a gamble. I come out early this morning, launched my kayak, and I made a long run upriver. This section of the river I'm on today has very limited access. So certain areas, if you want to access them, you got to make a long run. And so I did that this morning, hoping it would pay off with some big flatheads. And man, did it. I got three flatheads out here today. The smallest was over 34 inches. The biggest one was the biggest flathead I've caught all year thus far. So it has been a great morning. The gamble paid off. But what I've done, you may be able to see on the camera here, I'm not sure, but there's a point here behind me. There's an island that comes off and I am off the end of that island on that point. The main channel's over here to this side of the camera. And then back over here behind me, there's a secondary channel that goes around the back of that island and comes out. And so where I'm positioned here, I'm anchored, like I said, off the end of this island and I'm kind of right here in this path that any fish would take as they move up here and to go up into the secondary channel or any fish that may be in that secondary channel that comes out, they're gonna run right into my baits. And for bait today, I was using shad. I went out last night, I got some fresh shad, I got some gizzards, I got some threadfin shad. Didn't have a lot of bait today, but the bait I've had, I've made it work. I've, I've made it count out here. So it's been a great morning. I got on the water at first light, a little before first light, got set up and the bite was on there for that first hour. Just boom, boom, boom. I was getting small blues. I got some flatheads. And then after that, I kind of had a stretch of nothing. And then the bite was just sporadic. I've got an occasional dink blue, a couple channel cats, which I'll probably edit out of the video. And then I got another decent sized flathead there as well. So it has been an awesome morning. I hope you enjoy the video. Here it is. He's swimming with me. That's really man. Let's get that old skunk out. First one of the day. Started off early here. Went on the water. Five, ten minutes. Well, I shouldn't say that. I've been on the water a while. It took me a long time to get up here. But I've been, had baits in the water five or ten minutes. We got us the first one here. All right, y'all, there we go. This is a little blue cat. But he got the skunk out. Well, we got thumped right there, buddy. That one got hit, too. He got hit, too. I got two fish on. They hit it at the same time. <laughs> I mean, they just, they timed it perfect. It's another little blue cat there. We'll set him back, let him tire himself out. Let's pick up on this one. I don't think this one's very big either. <laughs> it was exciting though. <laughs> Oh, that one come off. That one popped off right there, and he got my daggone bait too. Daggone. Hate to, hate to lose that gizzard shad head, but that's all right. We got one out of the two fish anyway. All right, another blue cat. Another small though, unfortunately. Got to bait two lines. Don't have a whole lot of bait with me today, so uh, we're going to be we're going to be recycling some baits whenever possible. Oh, 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 I got one on that rod up there, guys. I was just lowering this one. That rod's going down. Oh goodness. This one here's bigger than the other two. Look at that now. He's going to pull some drag. He's pulling. I still haven't got that rod there behind me baited yet. I just baited this other front rod here. Got it going. It's digging right here, man. I hope this is a flathead. That's what I come up here to get today was the flatheads. Haven't fished up here in several years. This is a area that I just don't for whatever reason, I just don't come to. And 
Part of which is because it's a long run for me to get up here. And the current flow, you got to time it right because this the flow through here can be be pretty intense depending on how much how much generation they're doing at the dam. That's what we came here for today. Get on up in here, Mr. Flathead. Look at that, y'all. <laughs> Man, that's awesome. That's what I came here to get today. I came up here specifically looking for flatheads. I went out last night, I got some shad. Didn't get many, but I got some. I got me some fresh bait, and uh, you know, lately they've been on the, the cut bait versus the live bait. Water temp where I'm at here is 64 degrees. So, uh, you know, could go either way, but I will come out here today with the cut bait. We got us one. <laughs> Look at that. Heck yeah, man. Heck yeah. Throw him on the board. Let me just get a quick link here. All right, y'all. There he is. One more look at him. Let's let him go. See you, Mr. Flathead. There he goes. Took him a minute, but he gone. Oh, look at that. Look at that one pulling. Look at that one pulling. Hit it hard. Just pulling some drag. Now that I've gotten caught up with him, I don't think he's all that big. This one, that flat-headed eat a uh, gizzard chad head. This one here has eaten a body section. That's another little blue cat right there. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do before I land him, I wanna get this other rod baited and get some more bait down there. Okay guys, on that one there, I'm just cutting up some thread fin shad. I've got a few of those last night too. I just cut them up in chunks, dropping it down, gonna suspend it. Put that one down, we'll land this front one here. We're getting some action out here this morning, man. The bite is on. Unfortunately, it's been for mostly dinks thus far, but we got that nice flathead. I like to get some baits down there soaking and waiting on the big one to come through. Well, there's a little bigger blue cat. <laughs> they got him a meal. I lost my bait on that. Let's let him go. I got to uh, check this other front rod up here. That thing got hit while I was rebaiting that one and fooling with that fish. So I'm gonna reel it in right quick. Just make sure my bait's on there. I ain't feeling it. Oh, it's still on there. Well, let's lower it down. I'll rebait that one. I think we'll be in business again. Pick up on this rod here. It, may have, it does have a fish on it. I knew they were messing with it a minute ago. One messing with it, and I knew I better check that thing. Sure enough, there's one on there. <laughs> oh, oh, that other front rod's going down up there. <laughs> I got that front rod. Oh, can't get that hook out. There, got that hook out. Got my bait back. I got one on this front rod up here, but let's let him go. I think it's just another dink on that front rod, so I'm gonna lower that bait down there before I deal with him. See if this one's on now. Yep, he's on there. <laughs> I'll tell you what, there ain't no tinkering on my phone this morning. Ain't none of that right now. I can't hardly keep my lines baited. <laughs> Good problem to have, right? <laughs> another dink. These fellers, these little guys are gonna clean me out of bait in a hurry. <laughs> That's all right though. I'd rather run out of bait than go home with a whole sack of it. Oh, oh, goodness, goodness. Look at that. I never felt him hit. Never felt him hit. 
Nathan's pulling now. Nathan's pulling. Oh, that's the one I want right there, I think. That's the one I want. Let's get that camera going, why don't we? That's the one I want. <laughs> Look at that man, he's still pulling drag. He's still pulling. I bet you that's another flathead. The way he's pulling and the way I was distracted, you know, with that other fish, but I never felt him hit. There he goes again. There he goes again. <laughs> oh no, this fish has pulled me loose from anchor. This has pulled my anchor loose, gal. I tell you, you know, I ain't never been a flathead fisherman. I love catching them. But I ain't never been somebody that targets them. But this year, I, you know, it's kind of, kind of a goal. One of my goals for 2019 was to spend a little bit more time focusing on them put myself in places where you know I'd have better success, better odds. And it's paid off so far. I've gotten some several flatheads this year already. And some good ones too. You got a good one on here. Oh man, that is a big flathead. Big flathead right there y'all. Let's see if I can get the camera over here and get a look at him. See his tail saw his head a second ago. Look at that. Look at that. Oh man, he is not hooked good either. He is not hooked good. That hook is just at the top of his lip, just barely in it. Heck with this camera. I don't want to lose this fish, y'all. Oh, I got him. I got him, and that's a daggone good one, buddy. That is a good one right there now. I gotta bring him in. I got to. Look at that. Look at that. Yes! Look at that. that hook just popped out of him, man. <laughs> yes! This is what I was hoping to get up here today. I want to get him up here. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, yeah. Look at that, buddy. He may start flopping around on me. He's still probably full of energy because I got him in too soon, but that hook you've seen, it was just kind of at the top of his lip here. They weren't holding it in by much. <laughs> yes. Man, that's awesome. You saw the bait he eat. He ate just them small chunks of threadfin shad, but they're fresh. I caught them last night. I went out after dark, got me them shad, and. And I was out here before the sun come up this morning, pulling long airs. <laughs> but it's worth it. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that now. Man, that's an awesome fish. I'm going to throw him on the board here if I can. I want to get a length on this in here for you. Okay, guys. Let's get one more look at him there. He gave me fits on that board, but he's almost 43 inches long. <laughs> Let's let him go. And then I gotta go up here and reset myself, because he has pulled my anchor loose. All right, buddy. Look at that mouth on him. <laughs> See ya. And there he goes, just nonchalantly back where he come from. <laughs> Man, that's a good time. Oh, oh, there we go. There we go. That's a better fish right there now. That's a better one. There we go. That one just kind of took the rod tip over slowly. <laughs> more of a felt like more of a flathead right there there he goes now get him go now he's gonna take off 
and stripping that line now. There goes that one too. Yeah. <laughs> I had a, you know, a pretty long lull there. I was just getting dink taps and occasional dink here and there. Well, we got this one going here. This was just some more thread fin shad. I've still got that gizzard shad head that I caught a couple fish on on that rod up there. And these other two, I've got whole thread fin shad on that, and then I had cut thread fin shad on this one. That's what I came here today for. Flathead number three. Oh, yeah. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. That's another good flathead. <laughs> I've just been, uh, just been waiting on them. Just been sitting here waiting, biding my time for some more fish to come through. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, buddy. Let's put him on the board here. I think this is probably, this may be the smallest one we've got today. Definitely smaller than the big one. Yep. That one's about 34 and a half inches right there, so definitely the smallest one of the morning, but she told me I was coming out here today and I was going to catch three flatheads over 34 inches, I'd have said, heck yeah, sign me up. <laughs> All right. Well, let's do what we do on these fish. Let's let them go. Oh, that's bleeding right there, but it's off the top of the lip where I hooked him, so he'll be all right. See you, Mr. Flathead. Whew. Been a good time. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, like I said, I had an awesome trip out here today. Any time I can go out and get one good flathead, that's a good trip for me. But to get three, that's an awesome day. I hope you all enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.